Show? Would you say I've got enigmatical smile? Nah, I can't do it. I got it. Well, that's what this fella says. Oh, fella, I know. Well, you know my norm. You know, the one drives the lorry with the big ears. Well, no, it's not him. No, no, this is a Mr. Lewis I got to know down my bus queue. Well, the other night, me and Norm, we was down self serve calf having a nice read before we went in the pictures. And uh, Mr. Lewis come in and he says, would I be obtruding if I was to invite myself to sit at your table? So I says, no, I says, a free world, come on in, I says. And I says to Norm, this is Mr. Lewis, Mr. Lewis, this is Norm. And they all shakes hands um, and we sit down and we start talking about this and that. And we get talking about dancing. And Mr. Lewis says to Norm, are you going down the pally Saturday night? They've got a gala on. So Norm says, not if he can help it. Well, he doesn't like dancing, see? He can't get on with it. No, he pushes me around the floor like I was a load on his mind, but he don't like it. So Mr. Lewis says, well, he says, look, seeing as how you're not interested in the dance, he says, how would it be if I was to issue an invite to your young lady to accompany me dancing one of these nights, and how about making it this coming Saturday on account of the said gala? So Norm says it's OK by him as long as he doesn't have to go. Well, you could have knocked me down with a frying pan. But I was glad, you know. Oh, well, I like dancing. And Mr. Lewis is a well-made man, and, and he's a nice dresser. He's got the matching tie and handkerchief, and always got a lovely polish on his shoes and his hair. So I meet him, as per arrangement, and we go along to the pally, but we don't go straight in dancing. We go at the snack bar first to have something to eat, see? And he's got lovely manners. He says, may I be permitted to divest you of your Mac? And then, you know, he passes a nice remark about my blue and my mittens and the demonte forget-me-nots in my hair and my gypsy dangle earrings. And then we orders a nice tea and it comes. And then he leans across the table and he takes hold of my hand and he says, has anyone ever told you you got provocative eyes? I'll see his cuff go in the beet salad, but I don't say nothing. And then he says... And he says, an enigmatical smile, enough to drive a fella up the wall. Oh, he says, you are not half a bewitching young lady. And I says, no, I'm not. I'm quite nice when you know me. And he says, I don't believe your young man appreciates you. He says, I don't think he realises what a pearl among girls he's got hold of. Oh, I says, you mustn't talk like that. But I couldn't help liking it. Well, you know, it's like being on the pictures or something. Well, then the music starts and the band plays and they play Jealousy and we dance. And he's a lovely dancer. Oh, he's got a smooth, glidey style and he holds you so tight you can't breathe. It's lovely. And all the time we're dancing, he's saying soppy things in my ear and I'm saying, shut up. But of course, I'm hoping he won't. And he don't. And then we get into the slow waltz and we've done it slower and slower and he's bending over me and he's saying, you are a woman and I am a man. And I say, I hope so. And he says, were you in my arms? He says, I'd like this to go on forever and ever. Then we done a quick turn and he kisses me neck. Well, I think he meant to kiss me cheek, but he don't come up so high. Well, we done everything. We done the rumba, the samba, the mamba, the this or the that. -a. And at the end of every one, he says, oh, I wish this could go on forever. But I didn't. My feet! Oh, they was killing me. Well, I got Lily Piggott's shoes on. They're not my size for long. And I say to myself, oh, how am I going to get home? I was dead depressed. And then all of a sudden, I look over by the door, and there, like a bowl out of the blue, Norm. He come up to me, very nonchalant-like, and he says, ready for home? Oh, I says, yes, just about. And he says, well, say goodnight nicely. So I say, ta and ta out to Mr. Lewis. Yeah, he does look a bit funny, but I've got time to go into it. Next thing I know, I'm on the bus on the way home. Well, we never said nothing on the bus. But when we get to my door, I says to Norm, would you say I've got provocative eyes? He says, if you ask silly questions, I'll black the pair of them for you. Oh, he's nice.